Here is set three sounds. Hopefully this will help you. Now there's a combination in set three of what we call special friends, the two sounds, the diagraphs and the triographs. However, we also have these sounds. These are split diagraphs. And we explain to the children they are split diagraphs and that is to help them understand the knowledge and the explanation further up the school. The reason we tell them the split diagraph is because the explanation we give helps. When we have our split diagraph, they're special friends, absolutely, but they're a bit chatty. So what we tell them is we've had to put someone in between. A bit like sometimes in class, we have to split you up because you'll keep talking. That's what we do with these sounds. So that helps the children understand our explanation. So they are really chatty. We have to split them up and we have to put a sound in between. So this stops the children from saying, for example, cake, k, a, k, e. We want them to say a. So this tells them these sounds come together. And the way we explain that is, yes, they're chatty. Yes, they've been split up. However, look, they're cheeky and they're still holding hands behind. So they are still connected as one sound. And that's how we explain to the children that this is two sounds, but they still make a sound together by being a split diagraph and they're still joined. So it is complicated, it is tricky, but the children love to know that they're really chatty and they have to be split up and they soon get the hang of it. So I know that the formal language is sometimes a bit daunting for us as adults, that we're telling a child that's so small um, this big language. However, it will help them later on rather than then introducing something new to them that they've never heard of. So that's why we do that. So hopefully I'll give you a bit of an explanation that helps. And um, these are the sounds in set three. So E, cup of tea, oi, spoil the boy, A, make a cake. And obviously the visual cues help and when we're beginning to learn the sounds, we do the hiding behind, can you remember the sounds? We ask the children to be shouting out, well, shouting <laughs> as um, they should, but not uh, obviously in a shouting manner that we would not want them to do. But it's part of the excitement, it's part of getting that brain not working and the more they enjoy it, the more they're gonna want to learn. So obviously we're asking them to recognize the difference when we've turned that card from hiding either behind our whiteboard or behind a toy, or at the minute obviously behind our screen. So um, just different variations. So this one is I, nice smile. O, phone home. U, huge brute. That's the tricky, really tricky one that we all find really difficult because you have to tweak it. So it says rude, it says tune, it says use, it says June, but they all sound slightly different. Or, Yawn at dawn. Ah, air, sorry, air, care and share. Uh, nurse with a purse. And just like I made a mistake, we encourage the children that mistakes are our friends. And by making mistakes ourselves, makes it normal for the children. And um, I think it's nice for them to know that sometimes as adults we all make mistakes they love laughing that mrs swain has made a mistake or wrote something and that's how we often teach them when we're writing on the board we make a mistake intentionally um, and say you know is that right and then they go oh mrs swain you made a mistake and that's how we then get them to spot the errors in our work to then spot the errors in their work so i could redo this video 
and um, I could make it perfect, but actually it's quite important to know that it isn't always perfect. Definitely not. <laughs> okay, a uh, better letter. Ow, brown cow. And in set two, there is an OW just the same, but we say, oh, blow the snow. And obviously this one looks exactly the same from the front, but it's O for blow the snow and ow for brown cow. A, snail in the rain. O, goat in a boat. Ooh, chew the stew. Some of the pictures are quite amusing. Aya, fire, fire. Ear, hear with your ear. And the last one in set three is you are sure it's pure. And again, this one's tricky. You can see from some of the words at the bottom. It's got picture, mixture, creature. It's quite a tricky sound to master. Hopefully that's of some help. And good luck with teaching phonics at home.